we illustrate how we can use the universal gates, the land gates, and the NOR gates to implement our other logic gates. To be specific, we will implement the XOR gate using universal gates. Let's start by placing the XOR gate, the actual XOR gate, and simulate it. We want to make sure that the number of inputs is 2. And then we'll place input pins. This is input A. I will label it A. My second input will be input B. So I'll place an input pin through the connection and label the pin. The output will be called Y. Or in other words, I can say Y is equal to A, X, or B. Okay. To refresh our memory on the XOR gate, we said it outputs 1 when we have an odd number of 1s at the input. So 1 XOR 0 is 1, which is true. 0 XOR 0 is 0. 0 XOR 1 is 1. Finally, 1 XOR 1 is 0. So we have a total of 4 input combinations, and we can find the truth table uh, accordingly. Now what we want to do is implement the same XOR gate or a circuit that has the same functionality as the XOR gate but using universal gates only. So let's go back to the cursor here to edit our circuit. I'm going to zoom in a bit here so we can focus on the NAND gate representation of the XOR gate. So we'll only use NAND gates to implement the XOR gate. We already showed the proof of on how to do this uh, in, a, in a different video, but for now we'll just implement the expression right away. So we can go back uh, to the Word document that we have and locate how we can implement the XOR gate using NAND only. So this is the expression we will connect. I will draw it directly in logic system, so we'll need a total of four NAND gates. Each of them is just two inputs. Let me change the size of it to small or narrow, so I will have more space. So the first NAND gate takes inputs A and B. Connected this way, I'll label them as A and then B. The second AND gate, uh, the second NAND gate is also two inputs, and I want also to make it small, so I will Control C, Control V on this gate. So click on the gate you want to copy, Control C from the keyboard, Control V to paste it, or of course you can um, you can go to Edit and then Copy. To copy gates okay now this gate will take the output of this gate with a so it's a and with a and b similarly copy this gate such that you connect the output of the first NAND with b as inputs we will need one additional NAND gate whose inputs are going to be the outputs of the last two NAND gates. And finally, the output for my circuit will be Y as well, or I can say AX or B directly. AX or B. Now I did the circuit according to what I see in the table here. To verify the answer, I should check all the combinations, compare them with the output of the XOR gate. So when I input 1 with 1, the output is 0. True. When I input 0 with 0 as inputs in the XOR gate as well, the output matches that the out, uh, that of the original XOR gate. So 0 or 0, 0 XOR 0 is 0. 1 XOR 0 
is 1. 0 xr1 is also 1. So we've tested the entire truth table. Alternatively, we can refer to the truth table of the xor gate that we have and check all of these possible combinations. Compare them with the output in your truth table. It should 100% match the output of the XOR gate truth table because all this does is actually an XOR gate or the functionality of the XOR gate except we're using the universal gates to implement it. So it required us to use four NAND gates to implement one XOR gate. So now we'll do the same experiment but with the use of NOR gates. So let's find the NOR gate, place one. Remember to change the number of inputs to two. You can make the size narrow, so the gate size narrow, so you'll have more space. You can refer to the table on how to implement it. So you will need five NOR gates. All of them are two inputs connected this way to get the XOR gate. So you can use these as my inputs. So this is A, this is B. I will, I will need another NOR gate. First input of this NOR gate is A. Second input is the output of this NOR gate. I will copy this gate, Control C, Control V from the keyboard. That will take the output of the first NOR with B. I will need two more NOR gates. One that takes the outputs of the two NOR gates here. The, uh, the last NOR gate that is needed is to complement the outputs. So it will act as an inverter. That's why the inputs are connected together. So this last NOR gate is actually a NOT gate made using NOR gate. We're almost done here. So I'll just label the output or place an output pin. I will copy the one from previous, uh, the previous circuit. Now this entire circuit is simply one XOR gate. You can verify from the table that zero XOR with zero is zero. So you can compare the result of the table. Zero XOR with zero is zero. Zero XOR with one is one. Let's double check with that. So 0 XOR with 1 is 1. True. Now 1 XOR with 0 should be 1. And the answer is right. Finally, the last test will be 1 XOR with 1. The answer we are expecting is 0. So 1 XOR with 1. The answer is 0. So this is correct. Let me change all of the images so that they will be the same. Now, all of the three circuits you see are equivalent, except this one is made using XOR gate. This one is made using the NAND gate, since it's a universal gate. This one is made using NOR gate. But the output is exactly the same. The truth tables for these three expressions should be exactly the same as well. Two inputs and one output.